In today's video review, we get political with a charitable cause and a very special cigar from Joshua Haberski and Luciano Mireas from Ace Prime and Tabacalero Pichardo. Welcome to Bespoke Unit. Hello and welcome everybody to another review here at Bespoke Unit. My name is Reinhardt and today we will be discussing and reviewing the El Politico Cigar, which is a collaboration between Joshua Haberski from the Premium Cigar Association and Luciano Mireas from Ace Prime and Tabacalera Pichardo. As always for our reviews, I'm using Bespoke Unit's cigar formula a quantifiable review matrix that we use for all our tasting purposes and you can do the very same by downloading a blank copy just underneath the video. If you want to see the final score for the El Politico cigar and skip the rest of the video, jump right underneath and you will find the score as well as the entire write-up of this particular review. As mentioned, the El Politico was the brainchild and idea of Joshua Haberski, who is head of governmental affairs with the Premium Cigar Association. He approached Luciano Mireas to produce his very special business card that he calls the El Politico Cigar. It's a 6x52 Toro, obviously manufactured by Tabacalero Pichardo in Nicaragua, and it is given away by Joshua to governmental officials, people from the industry, and everybody that he would like to present his business card to. Originally, 5,000 cigar bands have been printed, and 2,100 of them, like the final cigars, were given away at the 2021 PCA trade show in Las Vegas. Now there'll be plenty more of these cigars showing up, so that Joshua and Luciano can give them away to selected few people, and later on in 2022, the cigars will become more readily available for people to smoke. Nevertheless, I wanted to share this particular project with you because it's close to these gentlemen's hearts. It's very close to our heart because every single cigar supports all the causes of the PCA. Parts of the revenue from the sales of the cigar will go to charitable causes and support the PCA's advocacy fight our fight to continue smoking handmade premium cigars. The cigar features a toothy and very textured Mexican San Andres wrapper that has a particular process in the pre-industry applied by Tabacalero Pichardo, and it covers a blend of particularly Yalapa and Pueblo Nuevo tobaccos, which have become sort of a signature tobacco for Ace Prime and Tabacalero Pichardo in their various projects and blends. The cigar looks rather elegant. The ring features the capital dome as well as three stars underneath, highlighting Washington DC and PCA's home office headquarters and obviously Joshua's ties to the association and his governmental affairs role. There is no box yet because these cigars are given away individually, but overall the, pres the presentation is neat, elegant, and with the gold rim it looks really nice and tidy. The roll is rather firm and even. There's just one single soft spot that I can detect here when slightly pinching and squeezing the cigar. Other than that, it's perfectly well made. Um, minimal seams and uh, just tiny little veins that I can detect here, but overall the cigar feels very well made. The draw before lighting the cigar gives me just the right amount of resistance, and on the cold draw I had notes of bitter chocolate, a very dry earthy cocoa with just a little bit of dried seps, dried mushrooms in general, and also an ever so slight red fruit slowly transcending into a cherry sweetness.
after lighting the cigar, the first third opens with an elegant combination of some of the bitter chocolate that is detectable on the cold draw, ever so slightly elevated by a creamy, nutty note underneath, and towards the very back, there's again some of the fruitiness. This time it's very distinctly Morello cherries and a little bit of lemon zest to lighten up the entire experience. I'm well into the second third now, where the cigar shows much more of that typical Nicaraguan spice, some earthiness, some bitter chocolate again, and a sprinkle of sea salt and minerality. The strength has consistently been uh, a solid medium, but the body is full and is rich. The complexity most definitely is there. The cigar shows different nuances from one third moving on to the second and then to the final third. And there are lots of different subtleties and aromas and flavors to, de to be detected once you progress through the smoking experience. The final third of the cigar, and I've smoked three of these for this review, shows some more of the citrus and the saltiness. So the minerality and the ethereal connotation of the smoke is more pronounced, it's more detectable, but still encompassed in the overall bitter chocolate and nutty creaminess that the cigar shows so wonderfully well. Thus, it becomes a very harmonious smoking experience. It's not overpowering, it's not overly spicy or drying, but it all feels well put together, well balanced, and I think that this will appeal to a global audience and different palates, whether it's in the United States, Europe, Asia, the Middle East. Plenty of people will enjoy this cigar. The Vitola, being a traditional Toro, is definitely mass applicable, as well as the blend overall. In general, however, the cigar is most definitely an occasional smoke, simply because of the sheer nature of the project and how Josh distributes the cigars and he has to give one to you personally. As I said, later on these cigars will be more readily available so that people can pick it up and smoke them as an everyday treat, because ultimately that's Josh's vision moving forward, that El Politico will become a regular installment and a regular part of people's cigar rotation. When it comes to pairing recommendations, because of the nuttiness and the chocolate, my favorite pairing is bitter chocolate coated macadamia nuts. You could also go for a salty snack like a pretzel or a, a rosemary sprinkled type of cracker and biscuit. And when it comes to beverages, I'm a huge fan of smoking the cigar alongside an elegant, full-bodied, creamy and mellow XO cognac. For those of you who are not into alcoholic beverages, I'd probably try the cigar with hazelnut milk. Again, giving you some of the mellowness and the nuttiness and just making the cigar all the more enjoyable and elegant. For now, this is the only Vitola that the El Politico is available in, but there will be other renditions of the cigar further down the line, so probably we will see an enlarging portfolio of El Politico and different options for you to try. Other than that, that's really it. I mean, if you can, if you see Josh at one of the events, try to pick up one of the El Politico cigars because it's a fabulous smoke and experience, giving you just the right amount of finesse, elegance, creaminess with that typical Nicaraguan spice character and earthy, bitter chocolate quality. And since you're supporting a good cause, since you're becoming part of the global fight for cigar rights and cigar advocacy, you're doing something for the better of the entire industry overall. That's it for today. I wish you a fabulous smoking experience with the El Politico. Check out our other bespoke unit content on the website, on our YouTube channel, and I'll see you again here for another cigar, whiskey, spirits, cognac review. Just tune in yet again. Until then, you stay safe, healthy, and well. Light them up. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.